Senator James Nocty was there too. A purely cosmetic exercise, many of you said, of little journalistic value. Well, do they have deaf ears in the newsroom? Because Jim is on the road again, this time in Japan. This is Today with Sarah Montague in London and James Nocty here in northern Japan. Hello, I'm Kevin O'Connell. It was good that the Today program was able to insert James Nocty into Japan so that he could send a neurogiac word picture of the devastation caused by the earthquake. Strange none of the correspondents already there thought to do the same. And now at five to nine, we return to the crisis in Japan and we're joined from London by Keiichi Hayashi, the Japanese ambassador to the United Kingdom. Ambassador, good morning to you. Good morning. Hello. Peter Hall from Kent. I could just see the scene on the Today Studio. Let's send Jim to Japan. How's his Japanese? He doesn't have any. But we could get him to phone the Japanese ambassador in London. He must speak some English. Ambassador, thank you very much for joining us from London. Jim Nocti, whose presence in Japan has been questioned, as has the impact all these extra BBC staff are having on a region where, it goes without saying, resources are extremely scarce. Something Alistair Lee said made quite clear in this report for a Today programme earlier this week. A lot of them have been spending their time uh, in the houses in this little village that overlooks the valley, which was just outside the reach of the water. And people there have been very kind to those who are homeless, but also to us. Um, we've not got anywhere to stay, there's no power, um, and they allowed us into a little room, there were some blankets. This is Helen Leo, when I heard that the reporter said, I didn't know whether to be angered or disbelieving, but I'm totally embarrassed, because I just can't believe the reporter was just turning up without supplies of his own. Self-sufficient as possible. This is a major and fast-moving story of the 